Welcome to Travel Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Bed bugs threaten to bite Asia's post-COVID travel recovery. This hotel's fussiness veering towards pretension was not for me. One killed, two wounded in Paris stabbing attack near Eiffel Tower. Leo Carlson has goal, shootout winner as Ducks beat AVS to snap eight-game skid. Like being in a Bluey episode, Bluey's world set to open in Queensland. Bed bugs threaten to bite Asia's post-COVID travel recovery. Nikkei Asia. Asian countries, including Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, and South Korea, are dealing with a bedbug outbreak, just as the tourism industry is trying to recover from the pandemic. South Korea reported 70 new bedbug cases for the week of November 20 to 26, compared to 68 the previous week, and is inspecting 140,000 homeless facilities, saunas, nursing homes, dormitories, and accommodations for travelers. The bedbug issues in South Korea are believed to have originated in France and the UK. Bedbugs are increasing in resistance to insecticides and are thriving in larger cities in Asia where they are common. In response, governments and companies are reassuring the public that the issue is under control. LG Electronics is promoting the fact that its washers, dryers, and steam closets offer conditions that can kill bedbugs, while Finnish startup Valpa offers smart bed legs that notify hotel staff if bedbugs intrude. Governments may need to offer help to disadvantaged groups to manage outbreaks. This hotel's fussiness veering towards pretension was not for me. Telegraph. French hotel brand Costs has brought its first establishment to London, in the form of a six-story former mansion block in Sloan Gardens. The hotel has been named at Sloan and is owned by Cadogan Estates. The establishment is the first completed project of a partnership between the firm and legendary hotelier Jean-Louis Costes, which was launched in 2015. One killed, two wounded in Paris stabbing attack near Eiffel Tower. Al Jazeera. A German tourist has been killed and two others injured in a knife attack near the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The attacker, a 26-year-old French citizen, was known to authorities and was being treated for mental illness. He had previously been sentenced to four years in prison in 2016 for planning another attack. The incident has prompted concerns about security measures for the upcoming Olympic Games in Paris. France has been on high alert for possible terrorist attacks since October 2021. Leo Carlson has goal, shootout winner as Ducks beat AVS to snap eight-game skid. Associated Press. The Anaheim Ducks snapped an eight-game losing streak with a 4-3 shootout victory over the Colorado Avalanche. Rookie Leo Carlson scored a goal and an assist, and also netted the shootout winner. John Gibson made 34 saves and stopped all three shots in the shootout. Alex Killorn scored his 200th career goal for the Ducks. Bowen Byram had two goals for the Avalanche, while Devin Tays also scored. Like being in a Bluey episode, Bluey's world set to open in Queensland. ABC. The popular children's show Bluey, which is produced and set in Brisbane, will have its own tourist attraction in the city. The attraction, called Bluey's World, will be an immersive experience where children and families can explore the world of the show, including the house, backyard, creek, and playground. The attraction is expected to generate over $18 million for Queensland's tourism economy and create 250 jobs. It will open in August 2024 and is backed by BBC Studios and HVK Productions with funding from the Queensland Government and Brisbane City Council. Bluey and Bingo invite the world to play at their new Brisbane home. The Sydney Morning Herald. A life-size interactive attraction based on the popular children's television show Bluey is set to open in Brisbane in 2024. The 4,000-square-meter venue, called Bluey's World, will feature life-size rooms from the show's main character's home, as well as a backyard with a large poinciana tree. The attraction, backed by Queensland Tourism and the BBC, is expected to attract 18 million Australian dollars, 13 million dollars, from international and interstate tourists. Bluey, the animated blue healer who stars in the show, is set to tour the UK and US in stage production Bluey's Big Play. Philippines lifts tsunami alert after magnitude 7.4 earthquake in Mindanao. South China Morning Post. The Philippines has lifted a tsunami alert that was issued after a magnitude 7.4 earthquake caused waves off the country's south coast. No casualties or serious damage were initially reported from the quake, which struck Mindanao. The area is less populated than other parts of the country. Over 500 aftershocks were recorded after the quake, with the country's Institute of Volcanology and Seismology urging caution as residents resumed normal activities. Philippines and Thailand roll out red carpets for film projects. Nikkei Asia. Southeast Asian countries are increasing efforts to attract film projects by offering subsidies and tax benefits. 
The Philippines has expanded subsidies to 25% of costs, while Thailand has doubled its maximum 20% tax refund on filming costs and introduced other measures such as income tax exemptions for foreign actors. Vietnam is also exploring ways to attract film projects. Governments are hoping that successful films will boost tourism and promote destinations. The rise of streaming platforms such as Netflix has also driven the growth of content produced in the region. Forsberg stops 39 shots, Senators beat Kraken 2-0. The Toronto Star. The Ottawa Senators defeated the Seattle Kraken 2-0 on Saturday night, with Anton Forsberg recording his first shutout of the season. Matthew Joseph and Drake Batherson scored for the Senators, while Joey Dackard made 26 saves for the Kraken. The win snapped a three-game losing streak for the Senators and gave them a rare home win. Seattle has now lost four in a row. Avril Lavigne, Rick Mercer celebrated at Canada's Walk of Fame Anniversary Gala. The Globe and Mail. Canadian singer Avril Lavigne has been inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame in a ceremony held in Toronto. Lavigne, who rose to fame in the early 2000s with hits including Complicated and Skater Boy, said she was honored to receive the award in her home country. Media personality George Strombolopoulos said Lavigne had a huge impact on young people, who identified with her music and persona, she never pretended, there was a level of authenticity that's very hard to fabricate, he said. Israel will not renew visa of Jerusalem-based UN aid official. The Globe and Mail. Canadian United Nations official Lynn Hastings will be forced to leave Israel by the country's authorities. Hastings has criticized Israel's attacks on Gaza and its humanitarian consequences, as well as calling for the release of hostages. Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has written to the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process to say that Hastings' visa will not be renewed after it expires on December 20. Israel criticized Hastings for blaming Israel for the humanitarian situation while not criticizing Hamas for its disdain for human life. Man arrested in Morocco allegedly behind fake bomb threats in Quebec, police say. The Globe and Mail. Authorities in Morocco have arrested a man who is suspected of being behind a series of fake bomb threats sent to institutions across Quebec. The 45-year-old suspect was arrested in the town of Tafrut, approximately 230 kilometers southwest of Marrakesh. The threats were sent via mass emails demanding money in exchange for the location of explosives. Quebec police have identified around 50 such cases in the province targeting schools, businesses, offices, governments, and media outlets. The arrest follows an international investigation. Ontario Provincial Police also announced that they believe a person arrested in Morocco by Belgian police was also responsible for bomb threats against schools in that province. One dead, one injured after assailant attacks passers-by in Paris, Interior Minister says. The Globe and Mail. One person has been killed and another injured in an attack in central Paris near the Eiffel Tower, according to French Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin. The assailant has been arrested by police. Reports suggest that the suspect may have shouted Allah Akbar during the attack, but this has not been confirmed. The Anti-Terrorism Prosecutor's Office has not yet taken charge of the investigation. Look for the lights, Santa to visit Lodi, Woodbridge neighborhoods next week. Yahoo! The Lodi Fire Department in California will be escorting Santa Claus around the city for two weeks beginning Monday, December 4. Santa will begin his journey every night at 6.20 p.m. at a local shopping center before touring individual neighborhoods. The fire department will also be collecting canned goods and monetary donations for the Lodi Community Center during the tour. Santa will be visiting different neighborhoods each day, with routes for the week of December 11 to be posted next week. Chad Allen, founding member of Guess Who and Backman Turner Overdrive, dies at 80. The Globe and Mail. Chad Allen, a founding member of Canadian rock bands The Guess Who and Backman Turner Overdrive, has died at the age of 80. Allen, born Allen Cowbell, adopted the stage name Chad Allen and formed his first band while in high school in Winnipeg. The band went through several name changes before becoming The Guess Who. Allen left the band in 1965 due to concerns about his voice. He is survived by his wife Christine, whom he married in 1999. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your resident observer from the Six Degrees World, Dr. Six, here to bring you the latest news from around the globe. We've got quite the mix today, from bedbugs threatening Asia's travel recovery to the opening of Bluey's World in Brisbane. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Six, your humorous and insightful guide to all things news and current affairs. Now, let's dive into these stories. Starting off, it seems like bedbugs are causing a bit of a buzz in Asia. Just as the tourism industry is trying to recover from the pandemic, Asian countries like Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, 
and South Korea are dealing with an outbreak of these pesky critters. It's believed that the bedbug issues in South Korea originated in France and the UK. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd prefer not to have any uninvited guests in my hotel room. Thankfully, companies like LG Electronics and Finnish startup Valpa are offering solutions to tackle these bedbug woes. So, while it may be a bit of a nuisance, it seems like the situation is under control. Next up, we have a new hotel making its mark in London. French hotel brand Costs has opened its first establishment in the city, a six-story former mansion block named at Sloan. Now, I love a good hotel, but this one seems to be a bit too fussy for my taste. But hey, to each their own. If you're into pretentious vibes, this might be the place for you. Moving on to a more serious note, a knife attack near the Eiffel Tower in Paris has left one German tourist dead and two others injured. The attacker, a French citizen with a history of mental illness, was known to authorities and had previously been sentenced to prison for planning another attack. This incident has raised concerns about security measures for the upcoming Olympic Games in Paris. Let's hope that the necessary precautions are taken to ensure the safety of everyone involved. Now, let's lighten the mood a bit with some sports news. The Anaheim Ducks finally ended their losing streak with a shootout victory over the Colorado Avalanche. Rookie Leo Carlson was the hero of the night, scoring a goal, an assist, and the shootout winner. And let's not forget John Gibson, who made 34 saves and stopped all three shots in the shootout. Way to go, guys. In the world of entertainment, the popular children's show Bluey is getting its own tourist attraction in Brisbane. Bluey's world will be an immersive experience where children and families can explore the world of the show. I don't know about you, but I'd definitely want to check out that playground. It's expected to generate millions for Queensland's tourism economy and create jobs. So, get ready to step into a real-life Bluey episode. Speaking of Bluey, the animated Blue Healer is set to tour the UK and US in a stage production called Bluey's Big Play. It's amazing to see how a children's show can capture the hearts of people all over the world. I guess we're all just big kids at heart. In other news, the Philippines has lifted a tsunami alert after a magnitude 7.4 earthquake off the country's south coast. Thankfully, there were no casualties or serious damage reported. Let's hope that residents in the affected areas stay cautious as they resume their normal activities. Southeast Asian countries like the Philippines and Thailand are rolling out the red carpet for film projects by offering subsidies and tax benefits. They're hoping that successful films will boost tourism and promote their destinations. It's no surprise that the rise of streaming platforms like Netflix has driven the growth of content produced in the region. Lights, camera, action. Now, let's talk sports again. The Ottawa Senators defeated the Seattle Kraken, with Anton Forsberg recording his first shutout of the season. It's always great to see an underdog come out on top. Keep up the good work, Senators. In the world of music, Canadian singer Avril Lavigne has been inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. Levine, known for hits like Complicated and Skater Boy, has had a huge impact on young people and is being recognized for her authenticity. Congratulations, Avril! On a more serious note, Israel will not be renewing the visa of Canadian UN aid official Lynn Hastings. This comes after Hastings criticized Israel's attacks on Gaza and called for the release of hostages. It's a reminder of the complex political dynamics in the region. In a strange turn of events, a man in Morocco has been arrested for sending fake bomb threats to institutions across Quebec. It's a relief to know that authorities have apprehended the suspect and put an end to these threats. Let's hope that justice is served. Unfortunately, we have another tragic incident to report. An attack in central Paris near the Eiffel Tower has left one person dead and another injured. The assailant has been arrested, and investigations are ongoing. Our thoughts go out to the victims and their families. And finally, let's end on a festive note. Santa Claus will be touring the city of Lodi, California, spreading holiday cheer and collecting donations for a local community center. It's always heartwarming to see communities come together during the holiday season. So, if you're in Lodi, keep an eye out for Santa and his fire department escort. Well, folks, that's all the news we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of the latest happenings around the world. Remember, I'm Dr. Six, your trusted observer from the Six Degrees world. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these stories. What do you think about the bedbug outbreak in Asia? Are you excited about Bluey's world in Brisbane? Let's keep the conversation going. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective.
Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.